So let me just start off by saying that I'm not a fan of Romelu Lukaku by any stretch of the imagination. The guy thinks he's up there with the very best forwards in the game, even though his technical deficiencies means he's miles behind them in reality. Furthermore, he finds a way to disrupt squad harmony with unnecessary remarks via social media and or interviews at essentially every club he goes to. He's quite possibly also the most insecure footballer I've ever seen, as showcased by the fact that comments from every Tom, Dick and Harry on the internet appear to rattle him. When you couple all that with the fact that he's made a habit of going missing in big games and fluffing his lines during crunch moments, you can see why he's not exactly a fan favorite amongst the general public. However, I have nothing but sympathy for him following last night's events. For those unaware, Lukaku was subjected to hostile and frankly despicable racist abuse before, during and after the goal he scored. In retaliation, all the Belgian did was celebrate in a manner which he has before, albeit slightly more vigorously, and received a second yellow card for it. Honestly speaking, had he jumped into the crowd and started throwing punches, you couldn't really blame him for it, because not one person on this planet should be made to feel that way in any walk of life. And, as Jamie Vardy famously said, if you chat shit, you get banged. If that's how the situation had actually played out, at least you'd be able to see some sort of logic in the officiating. But I'm completely stumped here. Apparently, he muttered shut up in Italian under his breath, which was deemed to have incited the crowd. I mean, seriously, mate. We all know football as a whole isn't all that fussed about doing something concrete about racism because it doesn't impact the bottom line. But surely you can't be punishing the victims of vile abuse for showing a smidgen of emotion. Personally, I love Italy. The culture, food, sport, movies, music, Music, and dare I say women have always looked appealing for an outsider looking in and it's one of the few places in Europe which I've wanted to visit but haven't yet had the chance to do so. However, there's simply no getting away from the fact that they've got a big problem in regards to racism over there. Take the following statement from Cagliari supporters following charges of racism against Juventus's very own Moise Ken as an example, which I'm going to paraphrase so as to not read the entire letter. We are really sorry what you thought happened was racist. We understand it could have seemed racist to you, but it was not like that. In Italy, we use some ways only to help our teams, to try and make opponents nervous. Please consider this attitude of Italian fans as a form of respect for the fact that they are afraid of you for the goals you might score against their team. Now, I've seen and heard plenty of stupid shit on the internet over the years, but this one really does take the cake. The worst part is, Ken's teammate Banucci came out and said the blame was 50-50 for Ken coping racist abuse. He backtracked after getting destroyed on social media, but that just goes to show you the mentality some of the most experienced and well-traveled footballers in the country have. I'm all for partisan atmospheres and a bit of banter. It's this very tribalistic nature of the sport most of us are attracted to in the first place. But the second an individual's ethnicity comes into it, whether explicitly or implicitly, you're crossing the line as a supporter. I honestly believe that stadium bans aren't enough. The perpetrators should be thrown behind bars and have their crime detailed onto their permanent record. That's the only way to discourage these types of unsavory incidents from happening. So far, Rock Nation, a talent agency founded by Jay-Z, came out swinging in support of their man. And the Syria also condemned the discrimination that took place. However, actions speak louder than words. And just like Lukaku wrote on his Instagram page yesterday, it's high time justice is served. Please do let me know what you make of all this down below. And if you have any suggestions of your own in mind. And I'll catch you in the next one, lads. Peace.